हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल Whoever is new here, let me introduce. I'm Tanima. I'm a watercolor artist. I also uh, do digital and acrylic art. Basically, I have been um, painting with watercolor since eight years, and uh, I am happy that right now I'm doing exhibitions, and I have an Etsy shop which I will link over here. And uh, do visit that Etsy shop if you like something or if you want some inspiration. Uh, you can see. that shop so let's move ahead today i actually got some request that uh, i should actually show uh, the varnishing which i have shown in uh, the uh, one of my previous video the varnishing idea i should show in practical so that's what i am here for and uh, i'll be showing you uh, how i do it and i have shown all the products which i use but still in this description also i will be linking the links which i uh, the the products which i am using for the varnishing of watercolor uh, but in a part 2 i'll be showing it practically how i do it so that most of the people who are actually doing it for the first time can get a hands on look of how the finished product look and how we have to spray and how we have to apply the brushes so that can be easily resolved uh and one more thing that um, in this video majorly i'll be using two products so i'll be linking the first video that is the part one where i have shown detailed about why you have to use two products for the varnishing of watercolor that i will be linking over here some here or here and uh, you will be able to see that uh, you can see that part first so that you know that why i am using two products for watercolor varnishing and i have explained in detail um, and uh, so let's start the varnishing uh, directly so here is the painting which we will be varnishing right now and uh, as you can see that this is a watercolor painting and we will be varnishing them throughout uh so as i have shown in another video that firstly we will be varnishing it with a spray so here you can see uh, that we have the brustro uh, all purpose uh, gloss varnish uh so you have to particularly see that it is it is a all purpose gloss uh, all purpose varnish because otherwise it will not be uh properly applicable for watercolors uh if whenever you are buying you have to completely see that because uh then only it will be uh suitable for watercolor paintings so as you can see we will be using the spray uh and that will be the first layer and the second layer we will be using mod podge this will be used for giving a gloss finish so i'll be linking my previous video in which i have shown why we will be using these two products and you can see the in detail why i have used both of them uh, but if you don't want a gloss finish you can actually uh, skip the mod podge part and you will be having matte even i have seen that all purpose matte uh, is a brustro varnish is also available in the market so you can go for that as well for a matte finish so now i'll be spraying the painting uh, with the spray and uh, i'll be keeping it perpendicular to the painting uh, 25 cm away and spray it uh, like this and uh, you can actually apply two to three layers for a better result because when you actually apply um a first layer then dry it and then again apply second layer the locking of the colors becomes even more per permanent and uh, it will increase the life uh, after that when we will be ap applying the mod podge we don't have to worry about uh, spreading the colors at all so that's uh, why i usually apply two to three layers you can see a light sheen uh, that is like the gloss but in the whole paper you will not see that shine when where the paper is blank so that is one of the uh, problem which i have seen with uh, the brustro spray uh, varnish that is you don't get that gloss across the painting uh, only where the colors are there you will get the gloss so that is one of the issue which i have seen so that's why i use mod podge uh for uh, actually having that fully gloss finish so i am now applying the second layer on my painting 
and uh, in the same way that is perpendicular to the painting and 25 to 30 centimeter away from that painting so that it is spread across it is not uh, completely wet like it is not actually making the uh, paper go yellow if you make it very close to the paper then it the it will make the paper really glow uh, go yellow a bit so that's why you have to keep it a bit far from the paper so that it just spreads with the um, and doesn't actually disturb the paper completely so you can see now that there is a sheen which is there where the color part is there but otherwise it is not uh, so i will show you after applying our uh, mod podge how the results look so that looks even more finished um, right now also the, the look of the painting is good so if you like this finish you can just stop here and you can ignore the second uh, product applying uh, on this paper I will be applying Mod Podge uh, for a proper gloss finish and waterproof uh, layering over the whole paper. So this will actually provide you that waterproof layering. So for that I will be taking um, one jar on in which I will be pouring out some of the Mod Podge and uh, I will be using a brush to apply it throughout the painting. So you can see I have taken a jar and a brush that is flat brush. I can be you I can use any brush you can use but you have to be careful that you have to clean it later after applying it because otherwise it will be like a fevicol it will just stuck on the brush so you have to properly clean it using water so I have poured the uh, Mod Podge and now I will be taking that on my brush and applying it slowly over the whole painting so as you can see I'm applying it on my painting So I'll apply the Mod Podge throughout the painting. Uh, it can see it is a bit whitish, but don't worry, it will dry out to be transparent. So there is nothing to worry. You have to just apply a thin layer over the whole paper, uh, and uh, it will just give you a proper shine throughout the paper. Uh, it you can just know that it is kind of like you can just see the sheen is there. So in the same way, you can have that throughout the painting. So this is the sheen and uh, it actually looks very beautiful. I like this sheen and with that I can actually uh, frame my paintings without glass. They, will, they are waterproof. So the paper becomes more resilient for the time. Uh, for a longer time it will remain, it will be remaining like this. So actually I am increasing the life of my painting and that is just so beautiful so that's why i uh, use this to make it completely waterproof and uh, even if accidentally we pour out some water we will be able to completely save the painting and whoever is new on this channel please please subscribe it will motivate me and you can also share your comments if you like the content if you want some solutions for the artist of what like you are doing a watercolor and you are stuck somewhere you want some resolutions you can ask me in the comment section i'll be surely helping you if i have a solution and i will reply you back with the video or on the comment section itself